Lose My Mind by Little Peep. We're in standard tuning. We have a capo here on our second fret. We've got a couple chords here, an A chord, an E chord, and an F sharp minor chord relative to the capo. If you already know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead. Otherwise, I'll be teaching them here real quickly. So for an A chord, your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of your D string. That's your third string down, one, two, three strings down. Your ring finger is going to be tucked under it on the second fret of the G, and your pinky will be tucked under it on the second fret of the B. You don't play your low E on the A, a chord, just those strings. For your E chord, your index finger goes on the first fret of the G. It's your third string up, one, two, three strings up. Middle finger is on the second string down. That is your A string, one, two strings down and your ring finger is tucked under it on the D string and you play all six strings on that. For an F sharp chord, if you are advanced you can learn how to bar it, so you bar your second fret all six strings and you make this E minor shape with your ring finger and your pinky so your ring finger is on the fourth fret relative to the capo of the A string and your pinky is on the fourth fret of the D and you play all six strings. Okay, so the tough part about the song is going to be the finger picking. Let's talk about that here. Um, before I do that, let's just talk about how you could play this F sharp if you are a beginner. Um, the way I would play it is I would play these strings. So your ring finger and your pinky are going to be on the fourth fret of the A and the D, and your index would be on the second fret of the G. And you would just play those three strings. That's if you're a beginner. Okay, so the progression starts out like this, and like I said, the difficult part is the finger picking. So let's walk through it nice and slow here. So you're gonna start on your A chord. And we're gonna go A string, G string, D, G, B. A string, G string, D, G, B. At full speed, that sounds like this. slide up to your F sharp minor here. We're going to pick E string, G string, D, G, B. E string, G string, D, G, B. Finally you go to your E chord. Again, E string, G string, D, G, B. So all together it sounds like this. sharp minor, E, A, do two on your A, one on the F sharp, one on your E. <clears throat> At full speed it sounds like this. So, uh, that's what's played in the intro and um, the outro of the song. Um, during the verse, when he's singing, it kind of goes like this. It just switches back between this A chord and this E chord. So I'm just picking the A, G, and the B string, and then the G and the B again, and picking G, B, G. Switching to my E chord, picking my low E, G and the B, G and the B again, and then strumming or finger picking between the G and the B, and then back to the A. So if you want, you can just strum it. So you could just go down, down, up, down, up, switch to your E. That's all there is to it, so it's a pretty simple song there. That is going to do it for this tutorial. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoy this content, please support me by subscribing to my channel, and also check out my songs and my songwriting playlist, and give me some feedback. I'd appreciate that. Thank you for watching.